Hey guys, uh, we're going to change the uh, brake pad and the uh, rotor on Subaru uh, 2010, Subaru Forester 2010. So what you have to do first is just uh, loosen these nuts, five of them here, before you lift the uh, tire up. And then once you loosen them, you lift them up so if you have uh, easy uh, access to remove it, the tire. So once you remove this, you will see the rotor and uh, the brake pad, uh, which we are going to change. It. So there are five of them. I'm gonna already loosen it, so I'll change this. something happen the tire will help you to hold it so I'm gonna put it right here okay so now we have uh, as you see the rotor is not in a good shape I'm sure the uh, brake pad is too so we're gonna get grab the tools I need which is uh, you're gonna lose in four bolts here in the back uh, to hold the rotor and then the caliper. So, so you I think it's 14, size 14. So, move that. It's very easy, it was not too tight. Camera digitally. Of them to remove the caliper and you remove these two bolts. Here you go. From here, so now it's easy to remove it. You can remove the caliper. See the piston is out. Later on, you have to push it in after you assemble the uh, the new pad. So it's just to make sure you're not breaking this hose because that's where the oil comes from the brake oil and uh, just let it lay down somewhere here and you have to keep your eye on it so uh, still I have two more to remove this is a little bit harder but you can get it up We need to clean it using this brake pad cleaner or brake cleaner. So it's gonna go ahead and spray this one. So we're gonna get some dust out. Okay, let's sit down there. Alright, 
this is uh, old rotor is out. I have the new one here, just open it. Shiny, nice. Hold well on, it's gone. So let's go ahead and put this on. Alright, so like this. Woohoo! So oil, it, I think it's good to leave that oil there, but um, stick it in. Here. In place, and the next thing you have to do is just go back and put the the plate with the, the things. We have that in place. Just have to put it back here. There you go. You guys need cord. And uh, put it back in the board. I hope it's very cordy. Alright, and then another bolt in the back another here. Another bolt? Yes, there are four of them. <laughs> what is that? Oh. Oh. Just to snag it for now. Back. So what you have to do is just easy. Use the old one, the old pad, and uh, and again use the uh, C clamp. You have to do it with one hand, but just make sure you have the nice grip. Open it. No more. than the earlier one. <coughs> so you can see it. I just want to make sure it goes in a little bit. So. See that? Okay. Just leave it there. <coughs> Thank you. 
you can put also a little bit on this stick they come in different colors some of them are purple so just Now I just have to put the caliper back. See? It fits. Without any problems because we pushed it back. Sometimes when you tighten it, it spoils my rotate. So what you have to do is just uh, find the uh, appropriate appropriate size wrench, and then you can hold it from here so it doesn't rotate. So I keep keep tightening it after that. it until it is the other side also and see if you got it yeah tight but you see it's gonna move like this right now because the brake is not on so once you press two three times you'll see tight so let me go and do it you'll see it all right see now just very barely move but it will still feel a little bit light when you drag the first time so I just have to pump a little bit more on a break. All right, I think we are, I just want to make sure it's tight now before I pull back the tires. I think it's tight. I think it's good enough. Good enough or good enough? One of them. You can use whatever, whatever is okay for it. Good enough may be good. Uh, good enough. Let's just go ahead and put the tire. Once the tire is in, good to go.
really. What happened? The sun. Your hand came to the camera, man. For your wife, you have to pay attention because the next day will be in big drop and deep trouble. If something happen. Yeah, that pain punching and something's gonna be in deep, deep trouble. Yes, <laughs> yes, honey, that's my six years old baby. I'm six. You are six. Yeah, I just. I'm Everybody missed it. My birthday. All right. My sister didn't listen to my dad. I think that's what it looks there, like. You take it one more time, it's better. Like this? Yes. Wow. Good. Bye. Hey guys, have a nice day. Bye.